Hi everyone! The beach is a great place to relax with friends, take romantic walks or play with a dog. Unfortunately, on the coast you can often find garbage left by people who are not very tidy. Well, you know, candy wrappers, plastic bottles and stuff. But sometimes among the most common garbage, you can find something really surprising. In today's video, we've compiled for you the strangest and most unexpected items found on the coast. Let's get it on. Several Lego men were found on the coasts of the world at the same time. Well, what's so strange about that, you're probably wondering. After all, a child could easily have forgotten his toy on the beach. But the point is, these men, well, they're just huge. In Japan, the United Kingdom, the Netherlands and the United States, figures were observed lying close to the water or floating on the waves, and it's still unknown where they came from. The author of the anonymous project is said to be a Dutch artist working under the pseudonym Ego Leonard. But what do these little men generally mean? Artists are strange people. In August 2017, in the English county of Norfolk, a new attraction appeared. Huge 100-meter pipes with a diameter of about 2 meters were stranded on local beaches. Of course, the locals were surprised to see such a discovery, but it soon became clear that there is nothing mysterious about it. The pipes were simply unleashed from the main cargo in transit to Algeria and lost at sea. By the way, they were transported from Norway, and it's not known for how long exactly the valuable cargo was lost. If you're concerned about the environment, we can assure you, the huge pipes were safe and they were soon sent back to Norway. When you walk along the coast, you usually expect to find something like shells or some sticks. Well, or maybe garbage, or even a rusted old car body or a broken umbrella. But not an oil rig. So that's what the residents of the beach on the Scottish island of Lewis found. A violent storm swept over the huge structure of its site, which literally ended up on the shore near the village of Carlaway. Due to the fact that there were 280 tonnes of diesel fuel on the platform, a control zone was immediately created around it, but fortunately nobody was injured. Space objects sometimes fall to the ground and often end up in the ocean. This is not surprising, given that the ocean occupies most of the planet, and sometimes people come across space objects in quite unexpected places. For example, fragments of Falcon 9, which exploded three minutes after taking off from Florida, were found off the coast of Great Britain. Hey, Elon Musk, looks like you dropped something. Do you like Kinder Surprise Eggs? Ah, who doesn't like these chocolates with a toy inside? Besides, the toy's the main thing. But these surprises become a real surprise if you accidentally find them on the beach during a morning stroll. In this case, tens of thousands of plastic eggs ended up in the hands of the inhabitants of the German island of Langeoog. The eggs were most likely found in a container lost by a cargo ship en route to the city of Bremerhaven during a storm. It's true that the discovery was not only a pleasant gift for the local children, but also a real headache for the ecologists. The large amount of plastic could seriously damage the environment and affect wild animals, so the people of Langeoog had to clean up 500 meters of the beach as soon as possible. By the way, not only eggs with toys were found, but also Lego bricks, net cables and plastic bags. The finding made by a South Carolina woman can hardly be considered sweet, because on the American coast she found a shark tooth. No, wait, not just of any shark, but of an ancestor of modern ocean predators, the giant megalodon monster. The megalodon could reach 18 meters in length, so it's not surprising that its tooth didn't even fit in the palm of the hand. At the sight of this finding, we were relieved to think that all the giant sharks disappeared 2.6 million years ago, or not all of them. Surely many of our viewers have dreamed of finding a bottle with an old message inside, or even better, a treasure map. Although some of these messages themselves may be considered the treasures. For example, on one of Australia's beaches, a bottle thrown into the ocean 132 years ago was discovered. To date, this message in a bottle is considered the oldest in the world. Inside the bottle was a note in German with faded handwritten phrases. The note was dated 12th of June 1886 and stated that the container was thrown overboard from the German sailing ship Paula, 950 kilometers off the west coast of Australia. By the way, throwing bottles away was not a means of communication, but a method used by the sailors of the past to study the currents. And on the coasts of two Dutch islands, 
thousands of bananas were discovered. The fruits were in containers that fell into the sea from a cargo ship during a storm. The beaches of the island were literally filled with bananas, to the delight of the locals. It is true that the free fruit was not the best. Firstly, they were not ripe, and secondly, they spent quite some time in salt water. Doesn't sound very appetizing, does it? But all the bananas were donated to the inhabitants of the local zoos, so we were happy for them. However, sometimes the finds are not carried ashore by the waves, but are literally discovered in the sand. This is exactly what happened on the island of Folly in South Carolina. After Hurricane Matthew hit the coast, metal pieces were unexpectedly discovered that turned out to be cannonballs. Yeah, just like in the movies about pirates. According to scientists, the munitions had been lying under a layer of sand since the Civil War, that is, since the middle of the 19th century. During all this time, the projectiles were at a depth of about a meter and came to the surface only because of the strong waves hitting the shore. Once, Kelly Gravel's family, resting on the beach, accidentally stumbled upon a strange buoy, or buoy, covered in seashells. The case occurred in Wales on the beach at Burry Harbour. The unusual object immediately attracted the children's attention. They began to play next to it, touching the buoy with their hands, hitting it and trying to remove a pair of shells for the memory. And only after official information from the authorities did the family learn that they'd found a mine from the time of World War II. The mine could have exploded at any time. Fortunately, this didn't happen. The ammunition was taken to a safe distance and destroyed with the help of a controlled explosion. However, about 13,000 mines still float in the sea, so be careful if you find anything similar on the shore. This is not a horror movie decoration or a scary joke shop item. On Pompano Beach, north of the resort town of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the sea brought a huge eye to the shore. About the size of a grapefruit, the eyeball was at tide and discovered by a local resident. After careful study, it turned out that the eye probably belonged to a swordfish, which lost it not by its own volition. The eyeball was probably removed by a fisherman and then floated for a while in the ocean until the waves carried the frightening find to the shore. In March of this year, on the coast of Britain in Yorkshire and Kent County, tons of starfish, crabs, mussels and other creatures were thrown onto the beach. The coasts were literally invaded by thousands of marine inhabitants, creating a sea carpet. Most of the creatures died, but some could be saved, so many volunteers hand-picked up the crabs and other marine animals and returned them to the water. Most likely, the cause of this sad finding was a severe cold spell. That day, the temperature in the North Sea dropped to zero degrees Celsius. In some cases, the tide brings really interesting findings, but even the most amazing thing ever found in this way cannot be compared to a piano. Yes, this massive musical instrument was found by New Yorkers under the Brooklyn Bridge. No one could understand where it had come from, whether it was part of an unknown artistic action, the author of which never appeared, or the piano simply fell off a truck passing over the bridge. Some people claimed that the instrument was thrown from the side of a cruise ship, However, because the piano is regularly immersed in water, it's absolutely impossible to play it. But what a great picture. Meanwhile, off the coast of the US state of Oregon, a boat was carried by the waves. It wouldn't be unusual at all, that's the way ships behave. However, the small ship appeared to be from Japan and travelled across the Pacific for six years. Apparently, the boat was lost in the open water after a severe earthquake struck Japan in 2011. By the way, this is not the only thing that has come to the United States after that natural cataclysm. Before, on the beach, furniture, a refrigerator and even a whole pier were found. And if you've ever found something incredible on the beach, tell us in the comments, which we'll be happy to read. Guys, it's time to recharge your brain. Visit the channel Brain Time. There you'll find a lot of interesting and useful facts, lots of positive energy and tons of useful information. Subscribe right now. We promise it's going to be really exciting. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.